everyone welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to paint simple watercolor poppies so let's go over the materials and i have here my etcher lab sketchbook and then for the paint i'm gonna be using the art philosophy watercolor artist grade tubes and i just squeeze them into these half pans for the brush, I'm going to be using this silver brush, black velvet. I'm using size 8, but I might use size 6 later. Okay, so let's start. And I have just researched some photos on Google. And we're just going to use it as a reference photo. I'm going to grab some permanent red. And I might mix a little bit of rose madder. So maybe we can try this one. So I'm just going to paint a something like an abstract uh, watercolor poppy. Um, so this is the sketchbook that I just um, rotated so that it will be in a portrait mode. So I guess we can start with this. So I'm just going to paint some like wispy strokes let's grab some rose madder so I'm just painting um, lightly And we are just going to capture like the essence of like the uh, watercolor poppy, so it's not going to look super um, realistic. And I think I can add a little bit of green to this red to get like a maroonish color, just for like the shadows, just to sort of give this a little bit more depth so that it doesn't look um, flat okay now let's add the center I'm going to keep it pretty simple let's grab some indigo you can also use black if you want okay and I'm adding this while the petals are still wet Let's grab some hooker's green, or if you have sap green, you can use sap green as well. So I'm just gonna add the stem. And I think we can add two more poppies here. So I'm gonna grab some permanent red. If you have crimson, you can also use crimson. we can also use this um, reference photo so as you can see I'm actually using different um, photos and sort of combining the interesting subjects and then I can add like a center over here again we're keeping it pretty loose and then let's add the stem and I'm holding the brush right here so that I can create some loose strokes I can probably add some um, buds okay so one more one more flower over there. Just gonna add some details here. So I'm also using this reference again. Let's 
let's add some center indigo again and then later on you can actually add some white wash just add some dots and this is already dry okay and then let's just add some more details Okay, so this is already dry and I'm just going to add some more details. And let's just add some thin strokes. some dots Okay, so now let's add some more details. I'm gonna grab some rose madder and add a little bit of green to create like a maroon color. So you're just going to paint some strokes that will sort of um, separate some of the petals. So in some parts, I'm just um, sort of layering the petals and painting on top of the dried first layer. And then let's grab some white gouache. Just to give some accents to this um, puppy. And you can add sort of a highlight. I'm just going to put a line over here. Okay, and then just going to wet some areas and then we are just going to add some splatters again this is just like an abstract um, interpretation of a poppy okay so I'm gonna cover this part I think I'd like to add some blue splatters. I'm gonna get some cobalt blue just to give it some um, contrast. Okay, so we are done.
So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Bye!